Let's calculate the molar mass for calcium acetate. And the acetate ion right here, this is a polyatomic ion, and sometimes you'll see the acetate ion here written like this. It's the same thing and we'll get the same molar mass either way. So let's just go with this formula here for calcium acetate. So the first thing we do, we go to the periodic table and find calcium. Calcium's right here, 40.08. And the units are grams per mole. I won't write those right now. Let's write those later. Then we have this whole acetate ion here. We actually have two of them. So what we'll do is we'll calculate the molar mass for the acetate ion and then multiply it by two. So let's just put brackets here. Carbon, we have two carbons. Carbon is 12.01 grams per mole. And we have two of them. So we multiply that by two. Hydrogen, 1.01 grams per mole and we have three hydrogen atoms then oxygen right here 16.00 grams per mole we have two of those and then the whole thing everything here in these brackets we're going to multiply that by two so we have our 40.08 this here in the brackets that adds up to 59.05 grams per mole and we're multiplying this whole thing in brackets here by the two, since we have two acetate ions. So we multiply two times 59.05, we add that to 40.08, we get 158.18, the units now, grams per mole. So this is the molar mass for calcium acetate. My periodic table rounds to two decimal places. If your periodic table rounds to a different number, you might have a slightly different answer out here. This is Dr. V with the molar mass for calcium acetate, CaC2H3O2. Thanks for watching.